What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back in the building. Um, I did the Conor McGregor uh, reaction point of view to him calling, you know, black people monkeys. So check that out on YouTube if you haven't watched that video. Um, I just uploaded it. So if you're interested in in uh, what I had to say on that and the situation, or if you haven't seen the video, the link is in the description. Now, it's on YouTube only though. Uh, so check it out. I didn't drop it on Facebook. I ain't had time for them crybabies. Um, oh, he's not racist. And, hey, fuck him. You know, in my opinion, you don't want to hear it? Don't click the, the listen button, the play button. But, um, you know, today that, uh, you know, Vasilo Machenko, you know, they did a little Moraga press conference, said, you know, I'm not looking to fight Rigandau. But, if you know, if a fight he want, I'm going to destroy his ass. Basically, that's what he said. Paraphrasing, but that's what he said. But what's so crazy about it is, you know, read into what he said. I'm not looking to fight him. I don't want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? I want to fight Miguel Moraga. And that just tells you right here that he don't want to fight Rick and Dom, You know, you know, he been saying some bitch ass shit the last few months. If you follow him, he didn't want to rematch Salido. He didn't want that fight. He said, you can look at the way our careers went. I'm doing better than him. So, you know, it's pretty much like I beat him. No, motherfucker. You didn't beat him. You lost. And I'm losing more respect for Lomachenko by the motherfucking minute. You know, he seemed to be a throwback fighter on the fast track. Now he got his little belt. He want to uh, he wanna bullshit around. And let's keep it real, though, man. The Nicholas Walters fight was set up for Nicholas Walters to lose. Truly, it was. It was set up for him to lose. He was out the ring for, what, a year and some change. Last fight, he had a draw. Then he moves up and fight Lomachenko. Ice cold, ice turkey. But Lomachenko was impressive. You got to give him credit. It's not his fault that Walters wasn't active, you know. Said he's destroyed Reagan doll like a tank. That's what he want to do. But you talking about one minute you saying that, you know, I don't, I don't want no smoke. But, you know, if I'm forced to fight him, if I catch him in the alley, then I smoke him. At the end of the day, you confident or you're not confident about fighting this guy. He called your bluff to go to 130. Then you signed a contract soon after that. Then your promoter said, oh, we never received a contract from, from Reagan doll. The same day, after he rejected your request, 24, 30 hours later, at the most, you guys signed up for fight Miguel Moraga. Miguel, same Miguel Moraga who just fought at StubHub Center versus Oscar Valdez, who seemed levels below both of these fighters here, and, and, and got beat by Oscar Valdez, Miguel Moraga, whatever you want to say his name is. Then you asked Miguel Moraga to move up four more pounds to take on Vasilo Machenko. So what fucking sense do that make? And people are trying to rationalize and trying to, you know, downplay, oh, it's just to stay busy fighting. No. We don't want to see that trash ass shit on ESPN. Take that shit on to a fucking pay per view. I mean, take that shit on to a, to a stream or some shit. You know, because at the end of the day, real talk, at the end of the day, what can you, I mean, what can you say? You know, people is going to continue to follow Lomachenko with Bond Faith because they like Lomachenko. And people going to continue to head on Rick and Dom. Somehow this is rigging now. Like people talking about they they was talking on Twitter. Was there any contracts on negotiation sign? This is fucking matter. He called them out. He said, I go up to 130. They send negotiations through, tw- through through social media all the time. And Lomachenko team say, Oh, this fight only happened at 130. If rigging now come to 130, we can fight. Rigging now say, Okay, 130. Next thing you know, they turn around and fight Miguel Moraga. It's not like they turn around and fight, you know, Tevin Farmer or Tank or move to 135 and say, oh, we want to uh, go to another division and, and break ground there and become, you know, beat Jorge Lenar ass or Robbie Schiff Jr. ass or Terry Flanagan or Mikey Garcia. We want to go do bigger and better things. We're ready to move up. No, they got a guy from 126 to come up to 130 and a total mismatch where a guy doesn't have 1% of the chance to win this fight, not even a puncher's chance. And people are standing behind him and, 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 and um, you know, it's standing behind him and, and still going for Lomachenko. Oh, he's a great. And I'm, dude, I think Lomachenko the absolute truth. But the bitch shit that's coming out of his mouth the last few months and the bitch shit that his action's showing, he a bitch, dog. Real shot. He on some real bitch shit. If it's Bob Arum in his ear, if his manager's in his ear, when he first came to the game, this man was hungry for a world title. He was on the fast track. Didn't care. Now he got his world title. He got a little fame. He don't want to fight the best no more. This dude is a, is a total... He total, he total, dude, he told him to hit the switch. It's like your boy getting a, a taste of fame, and then he just go crazy. 
It's like you sticking your penis in, in, in a girl for the first time. You just go crazy without the rubber on. You just going crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. And a lot of people will, will bash Deontay Wilder or bash, you know, this guy for doing this or bash Floyd for not fighting Pacquiao over years. And Lomachenko is just going to slide under the door and not, not get any criticism from those same fans. Double standards and hypocrisy. The same shit over and over again. If you like him, oh, it's okay, man. He ain't got to do it. Saying people protected Leo Santa Cruz from ducking Rigondeaux. It's always Rigondeaux fault. He got some of that Wilder central, uh, Wilder juice all over him. It's always they fought. Never the ducking motherfuckers from around him. But it is what it is. We gone.